Breaking mace is a defense against a two-handed lapel grab. The word mace, like we've seen before, signifies a fist or a punch. And the word breaking uh, describes the manner in which we'll use our hammer fist to uh, rake through the opponent's face with our knuckles in a corrugated fashion. Let's take a look. So the ideal way I want you to practice the technique is pin, step, and uppercut. Hammer fist, hammer, chop into the throat, elbow sandwich um, before you then cover up. When I filmed the previous video for raking mace, um, it looked something like this. We had the uppercut, the hammer fist, and when I struck the opponent's forearms, they didn't go anywhere. And then I chopped to the throat, and then I tried to clear here with the elbow sandwich. And that's a likely possibility. Uh, so you could definitely consider that in your practices. But something that's, I think, a little more realistic would be to have him let go, just like we saw in Mace of Aggression. Uh, imagining, right, that you're really stepping in and hitting this guy in the solar plexus, that right there is probably going to loosen his grip. If it doesn't, this hit, the hit to the side of his head uh, is really going to make him think twice. At this point, if you let go, check in your face, as you hit his arms, he's going to let go. And I want you to practice it, because your whole objective is to get these arms off of you. Whether you chop or elbow or do something fancy, at this point, you can get away, or at least deal with other people if you have to. And then just a tip for that elbow sandwich, I really prefer to tuck my hand in this fashion when I deliver the elbow. Um, if I keep my hand in a fist, I feel it's a longer reach to get to my elbow, and I feel I can't quite get it centered. I really have to turn my body a lot to strike with it. But if I collapse my hand, I have more range of motion with that elbow. and I can really focus with the tip. So, there you have it for 